Hi everybody! Uh, I'm sorry about like the lighting in this video and things like that. I wasn't really intending on filming today, hence why I have like no makeup on or anything like that. I just realised that it has been exactly one month since I started taking my gabapentin and that's what today's video is going to be all about. It is going to be just a quick update for you guys on uh, my one month on gabapentin and seeing how it is going. I started taking gabapentin for my fibromyalgia, which if you guys want to see the other videos that I did on fibromyalgia, then you're more than welcome to. The playlist and all of my videos for it will be linked in the description box down below. I went back to the doctors and they prescribed me gabapentin to try and currently I am on three tablets a day which is not the maximum dose uh, but it's just kind of like a starter dose that my doctor gave to me. I do need to book an appointment to update her on how I'm feeling with the gabapentin and to see if I need to uh, increase my dosage or not. Um, so. I will be going back to the doctors, they might increase my dose, they might decrease my dose, but this is something that I plan on uh, continuously updating you guys on over time as things happen. And I gotta say, the first kind of week or so of taking it, things were going pretty good. Uh, I felt pretty good. The only thing that I don't really like about the gabapentin is sometimes when you take a tablet you can feel it working and before long even maybe within half an hour or something silly like that you can really feel a massive difference in pain and you feel better in yourself uh, you feel like you're ready to kind of face the day go to work do all the stuff that I do but then other days you will take a tablet and I'll be in pain but it doesn't seem to work if anyone out there takes gabapentin. Um, I don't know whether you guys have this kind of issue as well. Sometimes it works and sometimes it just kind of either doesn't work at all or kind of works and it kind of helps a little bit. The first five days or so I felt good and then one day during that first week I took a tablet and it did nothing. Another thing that I noticed about the gabapentin is when you take a tablet, often you do feel quite numb afterwards. And again, this must be like a common feeling with the gabapentin tablets. And although I currently feel like I do need to increase the dose, I am a little bit nervous to do so purely because I need to be at my best for work and I need to concentrate both at work at university as well. So I just don't know whether increasing the dosage, although it's going to probably help my pain even more, I don't know whether it's going to be like, it, it's going to make me feel too numb, if that makes any sense. Another reason why I feel like I need to increase the dose is because I'll take a tablet. I know that I'm not due to take the next tablet yet, but I can feel the tablet kind of wearing off and I can feel the pain creeping back. And I kind of want to get to a point where I never ever really feel any of the pain and the other symptoms of fibromyalgia. Right now, I feel like the gabapentin is working. Um, I feel like it's doing something, I just feel like the dose needs to be increased. But like I said, I do have my worries about increasing the dose, but I will see what my doctor has to say when I go and see her for a catch-up appointment. I think at the moment with the gabapentin, it's all about kind of trial and error. It's all about like messing with the doses a little bit, seeing what's right for me, seeing what my doctor thinks is right for me as well. I know a couple of people who do take gabapentin, but not for the same reason I do. If you guys have fibromyalgia and you're taking gabapentin, or you've done something or tried something that you want to recommend to me, and anybody else, like I mentioned in my previous fibromyalgia update video, I'm really sorry, I'm losing my voice, but um, 
<clears throat> like I mentioned in that previous video about my fibromyalgia and like a quick update on it, I am so happy that people are engaging and are like recommending things to other people and myself and I feel like that's really great that we're kind of helping each other out because that is the reason why I do these videos and talk about it with you guys because I feel like not only is this a condition that is not really widely known and is spoken about a lot but I feel like you know we're helping each other and that is like such a great thing I feel like I've forgotten to talk about something in this video but you know what, I'm sure the second I stop recording, I'm going to remember exactly what I needed to say. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed this little update. I'm sorry that I'm not in like my usual place filming or anything like that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on and how I've been feeling with the gabapentin. Um, so yeah, if you guys are new here, make sure to click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any recommendations for treatments for fibromyalgia, uh, or if you've been on gabapentin and you want to share your thoughts on it and experiences with it, then again, comment in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in my next video.